registered for public comments. Okay, now we'll move on to our executive director's report. Yes, sir. Good evening. Uh, for the board, staff, community. Uh, the uh, couple of items that I have on the uh, director's report is, is the first one that we were supposed to have had last uh, the last meeting, uh, which is the EDA uh, grant workshop. Apparently, it, it didn't take place, so I placed it back on the agenda to see if you guys would like to schedule another one in the future, maybe the next meeting, uh, so that I can bring Mr. Rolich over and so that we can talk about the EDA grant. Uh, and the reason behind this is that it's very important at this point because of the fact that uh, last uh, last week the uh, Texas Leverage Fund was approved at the uh, at the uh, at the Senate floor. Now we're looking at uh, being approved at the House floor. However, this will be taking place maybe within the next couple of weeks, and then after that it will take maybe another week before the governor can sign off on it. Uh, but this is crucial because some of these monies. Or, or the monies that uh, that the CD or the EDC applied back then was at 3.1 million. It was already approved, and uh, the the only item that that was lacking from uh, from the CD, and not necessarily only the city's fault, but it was also there on the state level that, for whatever reason, that they didn't follow up on it. It was a city's resolution. So all we're waiting, or all that we'll be lacking for for approval, on the Texas Leverage Fund will be on a resolution from the city to approve it. Uh, the amount of money that was calculated that the city could actually uh, borrow as an advancement was 3.1 million. And the way it works is that they'll give us the money up front, and then as we receive the money quarterly, they'll take the ducks of money away, a certain amount. Now, how much money is this? We still don't know. But once we get it into that uh, leverage uh, approval and whatnot, then we need to re uh, figure out how much money is it going to be taken away every quarter so that we can budget accordingly. So along with the EDA uh, workshop, something like this will be discussed as well, the Texas Leverage Fund, which is very important, I think, uh, for economic uh, impact and development for the city. Uh, a couple of items that we're looking at, a couple of properties that we're looking into maybe acquiring for economic development that we can talk later on executive, uh, but I think it's, it's something favorable to the city, that, or to the EDC rather, uh, to acquire these monies. Proposing uh, to set a date, for a workshop for to discuss both the EDA grant and the Texas Leverage Fund, at which point in time we would have Mr. Rutledge. Right, we'll be here. Right. You know, what would be the advantages, and, and like what we discussed before, the EDA is on a first-come, first basis. Uh, the, the sooner we're moving these monies, it's not like there's a deadline. As soon as the monies are available, um, that's when the monies will be uh, available to, to, you know, to whoever applies for. So it's on a first-come, first Sort of basis. Yes. Also met with Brian Daniels at the time. He's he's the guy that pretty much dishes out the money. And we asked him at that point in time that if that if the legislature were to reopen the Texas Leverage Fund, whether we would qualify. Where, we, where the city of San Juan left off, which we had been through the whole process already, it was just lacking basically a resolution signature from the mayor at that point in time. And it didn't happen, so we didn't get that loan. His answer at the time was yes, you'll go straight to the front of the line. Uh, you've already done all those steps. You'll just get back to that resolution, get it signed. So so that's a, that's a big, big plus if, if, if everything falls into place so we can have policy. Just to mention that that uh, when we visited the uh, the Senate uh, with Mr. Brian Daniel, Mr. President, uh, was actually the one that asked the question whether we need to start all over with the process or pick up where we left off, and that that's what the guy the gentleman said was no, you can pretty much pick up where you left off, which is at that just as a resolution that is pending. Start thinking of what to do with some of those monies. Okay. Okay, so we need to choose a date now? Yes, I, I, will, I mean, I will like to do it with this next meeting the instead, sooner instead the better. of a meeting, have this workshop. The sooner sure, the better. Right? I would say so as yeah. well. Yeah, me so too. let's look at the calendar, whatever next meeting we're going to do, let's do this workshop yeah, instead. 21st of May? Let me look at my calendar. I'm in, that works for me. I'm in town. It's a Tuesday, 21st of that May. That works for me. 21st?
else uh, on your report, Mr. Oh, uh, Mr. Board President, that's pretty much all I have. If I may, if I may go back, uh, Mr. Wano. Yes. So, so again, that that leverage fund uh, monies is is not available yet. Correct. Not available yet. Okay, but but our paperwork requesting funding has already been submitted. It has already been submitted. Okay. The only where we are is the uh, the only thing lacking is the resolution from the city. Okay. You know the approval. All right. Assuming it passed. Assuming it passed. Assuming it, passed. it looks favorable right. as of now. Right. The Senate already passed it, so I think the House is going to follow suit, and then the governor just needs to sign off. Right. right. So, so my next question was going to be, so that, that resolution, can we can it come before us? That'll be like at the next meeting. Or how, no, how, how, how I, I want to say the resolution has to be here when the uh, when it's when it's approved. Oh, I want some so yes, yeah, so okay. so once in if so the monies are approved, it'll be September first. So I'm assuming that the next meeting in September, or the first meeting in September, we can probably present the resolution. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Comments or concerns? I'll move on to our next item. Uh, we've got two public hearings today, so I'll open up the first one. It's under 5A. It says the purpose of the public hearing is to receive public comments on the proposed San Juan Economic Development Corporation 4B project during the 2018-2019 and 2019-2020 fiscal years for infra infrastructure, assistance, site and related improvements necessary to promote or develop new or expanded business enterprises for the project to the amount of funds proposed to be expended is estimated to be $60,000 and the exact amount of funds to be expended for the project and its purpose is subject to modifications by the San Juan EDC board or, board or director. $30,000 in fiscal year 2018-2019 and $30,000 in fiscal year 2019-2020. Are there any public comments concerning uh, this project by the public here today? Going once, going twice, going three times. Okay, public comments were open at 5.38. And I have called for public comments on three occasions, so we will close uh, acceptance of public comments. And I'll entertain a motion to adjourn this public hearing. I've got a motion and a second to adjourn this public hearing. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Next item is another public hearing. Uh, the purpose of this public hearing is to receive public comments on the proposed San Juan Economic Development Corporation 4B project during the 2019-2020 fiscal years, so that's three fiscal years, for infrastructure assistance, site, and related improvements necessary to promote or develop new or expanded business enterprises for the project square. The amount of funds proposed to be expended is estimated to be $150,000, and the exact amount of funds to be expended for the project and its purpose is subject to modification by the San Juan EDC board or director. $50,000 is supposed to be uh, allocated in fiscal year 2019 to 2020, another $50,000 in fiscal year 2020-2021, and another $50,000 in fiscal year 21-22. At this point in time, I'll open for any public comments on this project square. It is 5.40. Uh, the time is 5.40 as I'm asking for the public comments. I do not hear anybody wanting to make public comments, so we'll close this for public comments as well. And I'll ask... Um, oh, move. I've got a motion to Again. adjourn this public hearing and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Move on to our next item. Uh, six, one, two, three, and four is our consent agenda. Do you want us to take these one by one, or do you want to blank uh, it, Mr. Arjona? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a motion. I know we have a quorum, but I'd like to see that everybody's here present for any, any kind of money is going out. So I'd like to table this item possible item uh, waiting for everyone to be and we are missing president. three board members for the record so I'd like for them to have an input on it too uh, if I may 
to include the, the minutes, uh, Mr. Garza? Uh, not the minutes, just the uh, one and two. Items one and two? Just for yeah, one, one and two. two, I'm sorry. Yep. One, two, and three? Or, one, two, and... Oh, one uh, and two, yes, you're Yeah, correct. one and two one only. And two. So motion to table one and two? Yes, sir. Second. Okay, got a motion and a second to table one and two. All in favor, saying aye. 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 Okay, can we take uh, items three and four? Motion to approve items three and four. All right, second. Second. Got a motion and a second to approve items three and four. Those are the minutes as submitted. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item uh, is 7A, discussion, consideration, and possible action on promotional sponsorship for Genesis Drum and Bugle Corps. June 1st, 2019 through August 10th, 2019. Uh, this is a sponsorship also? Yes, this is another sponsorship that uh, was brought before us. The only difference between the consent and the regular agenda is that the, the consent was has, has been brought up before to us in the past, and this is a new one. So that's why we put it on the regular um, uh, open I session. also make a motion to table this item. Second. Aye. Aye. Item is 8A, uh, executive session. Uh, San Juan Economic Development Corporation will convene an executive session in accordance with Texas Open Meetings Act, Vernon's Texas Statutes and Code Annotated, Government Code 551.071. It is now 5.43, and we are going into executive session. And we are now reconvening the San Juan Economic Development Corporation meeting. We are out of executive session, and there is no action required for any of our items that were listed under executive session. So with that said, um, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. This meeting is now adjourned.